for today's gameplay, man, we got a we got a very interesting one. So it's two games. The first game, I mean, it, it, it's wild. The Angry Runs is it, it's one of the worst things ever. It's like it goes back to Madden 20. We said get rid of the whole pre lit X factor running back. It's just terrible, right? The point is the first game i think this guy ran the ball 37 maybe 40 times with bo jackson like genuine carries now personally i don't think he had a very good percentage running the ball you guys could tell me at the end of the video what you think and then the second game is funny because it's like a complete flip the guy like i think threw the ball 40 times and never ran the ball so but the main focus is, is this first game and it's just angry it just it just goes to show how bad angry runs is now i could do things better than this too i'm gonna just like the last game play i'm gonna talk it through it uh with you guys so uh, let's get to this thing, man. And can we can we just drop a like real quick? If you think Angry Runs, the X Factor D lineman, and Vanguard just need to be completely gone out of this game. So just like the uh, the last gameplay we did, I'm gonna uh, commentate, talk over. You guys seem to enjoy it. I enjoyed it a little bit myself too. So this is the game right here, where this man now now Angry Runs isn't activated yet, but don't worry, it's gonna get activated. And when it gets activated, it's gonna get completely wicked now. I actually played against this guy the day before, and he came in my chat, because uh, you guys know how stream, he came in my chat, the guy was like arguing with me, the guy's a complete weirdo, so I already knew how he played, now I'm not gonna lie, he flipped the whole script today when I played him, so you see right now he's in trips tight end, that's what he ran, I bagged it, like the guy has zero dots, I think he does some pick right here, he has no dots, okay, uh, moral of the story, so as you can see right here, there he is, Slay picks him off, come on, now why are you even trying him, um, which is why you're gonna see like, he doesn't even attempt to pass this ball because yesterday when i played him like he was running trips tight end he was doing the whole thing like he thought he was nice in it no he wasn't right the guy was messaging me he even tried to report me and get me banned apparently i don't even know it was crazy but um you guys are mad or weird this is a die right here remember the like, last gameplay i was i was putting some bullshit route combos out here watch this this is a little die right here hold on cow pits in the corner that's money come on but uh what was i saying yeah the guy tried to get him reported the guy's a complete weirdo uh he ends up trying to run this ball the whole game now personally like he was really getting like just three yards of carry with Bo, in my opinion but like those three yards of carry add up and they were like in clutch situations right here this is what he, he runs with this shit like the whole game it's like i don't know what it's called it's called like pistol east something i don't know what this is like i think it's a new formation they added in the game if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong uh but he ends up running this thing the whole game now i'll cut you you'll see when but like the, the guy will end up running like one play the whole game and like it, it works because it's you'll, you'll see we'll get to it but right now he comes out he's throwing the ball that's a little dot i give credit where credit's due you know i, I don't like how the guy the guy's a complete weirdo but you know man that, that that's not the point of this uh but yeah whatever uh the guy sucks also but um yeah, this is pretty much what he runs the rest of the game. You see, he's, like, motioning people out. He doesn't even do, like, you'll see, like, once we get to, like, the second quarter or, like, whenever, like, this shit kicks in, it's the same play, and it's just, oh, he's double teaming. He's, like, you know, flipping it to the left and right, and it's just, it gets crazy. He's breaking tackles. I don't think he had, he doesn't have angry runs yet, so it's not going to get too crazy. But, like, when he first came out, and he was trying to throw the ball, throw a couple dots, he, he got right there. Like, now, 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 there was pressure in his face, but that's a little dot. You know, we were really close to coming at home, but, hey, Shout out to Superstar Kale. I, I honestly think I only make this tackle because of Superstar Kale. The 3v3 showdown, I feel like that's the only reason I make it. Right there, I got to make that play on my user. I don't... Hey, man, he juked around me. It is what it is. Oh, and I almost forgot about this, bro. He recovers two onside kicks in this gameplay. Two! Two! And I, I played him the day before, and he recovered two onside kicks. Yes! I swear to God, he recovered two. Like, he's the on, on, onside... He almost recovered three this game. He's the only sidekick guru, and this is the play right that play he just ran. You're going to see him run this play. The rest, this play right here, he's going to run this the rest of the game, and it's going to get crazy. Like, like it's going to get real crazy. Now he has the angry runs. This is when it sets in and he kicks in. This is the rest of the game you're going to watch from him on offense, bro. I'm telling you, it's crazy. Now, I don't have the new Jalen Carter in this game, but I told you guys in my video yesterday I don't have him. He's a good card, don't get me wrong, but, I mean... Like, bro, I don't got the coins to get him. And at the time of recording this, uh, Sugar Rush promo's not out yet. I don't know if we have any Eagles. I'm trying to, you know, see what's going on. I'm going to make some moves. You know what I mean? I just finished Champs yesterday. I ended up going 20 and 3 in Champs. Um, so I got that done. I ended up quick. I got Justin Jefferson. Look at this. This is a straight Stevie, man. The guy doesn't have dots. He has no lasers, okay? He's all, all he's got is that little one, right? He ends up taking three, which makes me feel good. Like, okay, 
I know what I can do. We get this done. He comes out and onside kicking. And he so the reason why the reason why I moved to Sean Jackson back because I'm thinking okay he's gonna touch the ball before it goes ten yards. No, apparently it was ten yards. He gets it. So whatever he gets the ball back, you get to watch this again and watch. This is the problem with his run, right? Because he would run it like literally right up under the center's ass, and like all the guards would like form like a fucking they would form like a shield like right there in the middle and like. He had no stick. He would just run straight up and like he didn't care what happened because he knew he was going to like right here just break a tackle with the angry runs and just hope something crazy happened. I swear to God, the guy had no stick and like, look, I'm not trying to sound like an asshole and just be like, oh, the guy's ass, the guy's ass. You know, some people just say a guy's ass and are getting dotted up. I mean, it's just, it, it was just flat out. Like some of these runs just flat out. Like he's not doing that, man. Like it's just, look at it. He's just running right up the middle. I mean, what does this do? He's going to break the first tackle. It's like, yo, what do we, what does this do? He's going to break the first tackle no matter what. Like, now there's some plays where I definitely could have had a bet, you know, been better with my user, but in some plays, it's just like, what do you want from me, man? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what you think. Do you think? I, look, look, look at this. Look at this. He just killed T.J. Edwards. He just killed T.J. Edwards. He just put him in the dirt. Like, nothing I can do about that. <laughs> we need tackle supreme, and he almost gets that on side kick. He almost gets the on side, bro. I, I remember saying it too, like live. I was like, yo, if he gets his own side kick, I'm leaving the game. Like, I'm not doing this. Like, straight up. Like, I was like, I'm leaving it. But we got it. And it's a good thing because, you know, we thugged it out. And we ended up, spoiler, ended up getting the win. But, oh my God, man. You know, I, I don't have an angry runs running back. But I'll tell you what, my, angry, my, my running back runs angry. If you know what I mean. Like, he's going to get it done. I don't got the cute X factors. I got now right there. That was, I was supposed to throw the RPL. You see, anytime you see the quarterback's arm go like that. On the handoff, that means you were trying to throw the RPO. So we end up getting into a fourth down we didn't want to get into. I got the corner right open to Jordan Reed. I just get screamed at because my offensive line is terrific, man. We get absolutely screamed at. Now you get to watch this again, man. You get to watch Bo Angry Runners go crazy again. My boy Glock, he said it yesterday too. He was like, man, I don't know how you play with no secure protectors. I said the same thing. I said, I don't know how I do either. I said, I don't know how the hell I do either, man, but... Same thing, like you're gonna watch him do this the rest of the game. Like, I'm not lying, I'm not telling a fable, I'm not this isn't a fairy tale. This is real. Like, there's 20 seconds till halftime. Second 11, he's running this ball. It's crazy, man. This is like legit crazy. He takes three. Oh, you know, I think he misses this. He misses it, bro. He misses it. He did all that just to miss the field goal because he had no timeout, so he didn't want to run the ball again, and he was terrified to put the ball in the air. So I get the ball with seven seconds, and I'm at his 49. I'm like, what? I know for sure. I've, I've, I've had the corner right with Jordan Reed open the whole time. I'm just, you can see it. Like, you could even see it right there. Like, if I didn't ID McFadden on that X factor, I would have got sacked right there. Like, so, you know, I mean, I'm just getting absolutely screamed at. I need the running back to help every play. I end up, he his missed three turned into me getting three to end the half. So that's, that's major. So... Now we're going to halftime. I'm only down seven, and he stole two possessors from me, and he's trying to steal another one. But this time, what I did was I clicked on to Franco Harris, that inside, like, fullback guy. And I was like, yo, I'm just going to try to go fall on this. Thankfully, it works. So, uh, and a guy, people like this, man, like, I don't even, like, I, I, I don't respect him because the angry runs. I don't respect the guy because the onside kicks. Like, it, it's just so lame to me because it's like, come on. Like, it's just, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's so lame. Like, in, so... In comp Madden, when I say comp man, I'm talking about money games, you know, tournaments, stuff like that. There's some things that are not allowed. Uh, onside kicks, if I'm not mistaken, are not allowed in the first half of the game. You're allowed to do them only in the second half because they're extremely overpowered. Um, look, look, look at me get sticky, McFadden. Um, another thing I think that's not allowed, pre-lit pre X-Factors aren't even allowed. You know what I mean? Like, so, a lot, like, we talked about this couple, look, look at this real quick. Mm, AJ Brown muscle up in there. We talked about this a couple days ago. I was like, um, with some of these prelit X factors and some of the extra adjustments you're gonna have to go out your way to do just to just 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 to stop these things. You know, the vanguards, the angry runs. And I was like, why should I sweat my mind out and do all this dumb stuff to try to stop these X factors in a normal seasons or champs game? When if I was in a comp setting, a money game, a tournament, I wouldn't have to deal with any of this because it's not allowed. And then it's just like, it just goes to show how out of tune EA is. Like, look at it. It's third and nine. He still does it. He breaks that attack. I mean, I don't. Do y are y'all seeing this? But 
it just, it just shows how added tune ea is like you know and and the mcs right the i i think the madden bowl was the only one that had like pre lists like actually were the point is and the mcs all the guys that were in the tournament they came together and everybody was like gentlemen's rule we're not going to use these like seriously that actually happened that wasn't ea that put that in that was the players that came together and said we're not going to use these like if if that isn't a telling like hey this shouldn't you know be here or this shouldn't be in the game i don't know what is that man I, I really don't the company is just clueless we told them back in madden 20 four years later look what i'm dealing with i'm dealing with what i deal with in madden 20 fourth three do you know how many four downs we got this guy on? He hands it off and he gets it every time. Like, do you know how demoralizing that is? Like, it's just, it's just demoralizing. Now, now, to be fair, some of them, like, the angry runs didn't matter. He just straight up got it. But I'm just, like, so, like, shocked he did it. Like, I'm just like, wow. Because, like, some of these plays, I, like, look, I mean, like, the first guy's getting thrown on there. So, right now, hold on. He has 27 carries for 126 yards. Do you think that's W run defense or bad run defense? What do you guys think? Because I feel like for the most part, like if you look at these runs, he's not going nowhere. He's I, I really do feel like he's not doing like he's it's that first tackle. He's falling forward. He's break he's breaking it. I feel like for the most part, the run defense is there. It's just some of it, it's like there's nothing we can do about it. And it's some of them, it's a bad user play and he breaks the big one. But I feel like for the most part, the run defense was actually solid. I really do. Like I'm not, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. You guys let me know, bro. I just this is crazy and, and and the funny part about this is like he's chewing clock in his head he's like yeah i'm gonna chew him right out the game like this that this that and it's like it's so funny and mind you, you know it's also funny the whole time i'm playing this guy bro he's like texting me the whole time like he's just sitting there texting me and like yeah i, I don't know the, the guy is a complete weirdo i don't know who this guy is but you know if you're on xbox if you played him like i don't know like just look out for this guy he is weirdo man fourth and two though we got him on the fourth and two it's like the, this is like the third or fourth fourth down we've gotten him on this drive he's converted all of them i'm pretty confident he could i'm pretty sure he scores this drive i'm not mistaken but he's flipping the play around he's doing i'm, I'm blitzing the whole, the whole team's getting blitzed i pitched the line i crashed to the inside and like that's what's so janky about that run because like everybody like it just it's all in the middle and everyone's just running into each other like the d linemen are running into him he's running into his old line like the whole thing is just janky like i, I don't know i never seen anything like it the whole it was janky uh he scores and he ends up going for two which i i i guess i get it but because he because he, he had no chance to stop me but brian burns makes the day who was the, the the key guy to game players today brian burns there you go he makes the biggest play of the game uh, he doesn't. He finally does an onside kick me the ball because he tucked that tail because he knew he can't. Bro, the guy can't stop me. Like the only the only way he stopped me was recovering the two onside kicks and then the one drive I had. I um, um, I I just got lazy and did something stupid. But besides that, this guy had no chance to stop me. Throw a little drag here to Pittman. I mean, I don't I don't even know what he's running. He's just running like some. He, he's they, he's clueless on defense, man. Like. I'm out here just, I'm really running stocks. What's well, not stocks? He's spot, but I'm not even really making any adjustments for him. I'm just coming out, going through it. Boom. You know what I mean? He's lost. He, he doesn't know what's going on. There's a reason why the guy was on side kicking me the whole game. Cause you could, you, do you see his defense? The guy doesn't know what's happening. That there's a reason why I was getting on side kicked the whole game, but Randall Cunningham, Mr. Welcome down. It's time to put together a guap drive. 37 seconds. You know what I mean? You know, we're going to get this done. We always take our flats, Mr. Darren McFadden and Kind of wanted to do one in completions game. You saw that seventh right? Come on. And we didn't really get to touch the ball very much on offense. But what we did, we made sure we made dividends of when we had it. Because, you know what I mean? We didn't get much of many possessions. Right there, I had to throw the ball extremely quick. You saw an X Factor threw my lineman on the ground. That's a good job by his flat zone KO breaking up, which I didn't know he had. But uh fourth down. I don't I don't even know how you give me that right there. I don't know how you give me that flat route to McFadden right there. That's just wild. And I should have got out of bounds right there. I'd, you know, try to try to make a play and i did it and i ended up wasting my time out which wasn't smart but it is what it is i did it uh my whole offensive line got thrown on the ground i got to throw the quick one to Pittman. his ko uh flat zone ko ends up breaking up which is honestly probably a good thing because we didn't you know we don't want to get tackled in bounds there because we have no timeouts for 20 seconds you really cannot take a sack and his x factors are going crazy once again i mean do you see the bro he's on the ground i mean dog look at this Look at my right tackle. This is the 97 overall Frazier card. 
He's on the ground. He's on the ground. He's on the ground. I mean, I don't know. I get it. I don't have secure protectors. Holy shit. But great. By the way, great play by Pittman there. I mean, that's not even getting talked about. Once again, my right guard is on the ground. He's on the ground again. I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to make some shake with Cunningham. I end up sneaking in there in the end zone. Um, I still got to make the extra point. I Honestly, I did not know that um, extra points can get iced. I never knew that. It's just so funny because, like, this guy literally tried to, you know, he tried to clock me out of the game, and all he really did was he, he clocked himself out of the game. He's a, He has the ball with seven seconds. He's got to go get a field goal, and he, as you can see here, he audible to empty. I, honestly, when he audible, I really didn't even know what the hell he audible to. Shout out to Brian Burns screaming off the edge, but um, I wasn't worried at all because I'm just like, this guy can't throw the ball. I played him yesterday. He couldn't throw the ball. I played him today. He still can't throw the ball. Uh, he's trash. You know what I mean? I hope this guy, if you see this video, I want you to know you suck because you were sitting there. This motherfucker invited me to like, he gave me like 10 party invites. He's messing me the whole game. Coming in the Twitch chat, just talking that talk just to lose. So shout out to you, bro. Uh, you're trash as hell, but yeah, fuck that guy. Uh, this game right here is like the complete opposite. This guy ends up throwing the ball like 40 times. You know what I mean? Last game, it was 40 runs. And by the way, what? let me know what you guys thought about his run percentage. I don't I don't think we talked. I think it was 37 carries for like about 100, 130 some yards. I could be wrong. I don't remember. Uh, what do you think about that? Personally, I think that I think that's a fucking terrible percentage uh, because not, this game, I, I, I want to say McFadden had like 10 carries for like 115 110 120 which is ironic as hell because it's like the, the complete opposite of what he did so i don't know i i thought we personally had solid run defense against the guy it's just you know what i mean some of it you just you know it is what it is but you saw randall cunningham picked his own fumble up he's a guy i know he cost a lot of ap it's nine ap to get the stack on him but look bro I do what I got to do for my Eagles. He, he actually does play really good on the field. You know what I mean? He makes the throws. He's great in the open field. I would say he has one of the best quarterback jukes. I've used him at in some time. He has a godlike juke. I want to say it's a little Carmichael-esque, and that, that's a big thing for me to say. But uh, this guy right here, though, I'll say this, man. Like, he ran the whole playbook. Like, every drive, like, he was throwing something at me different. Like, he was, he ran the entire playbook. Like, I... I feel like he was an old head because, you know, I feel like the old heads, they always like, they're, I don't know. I, I don't know why I always feel like the old heads are always the ones that like, they're trying to run the whole playbook. They're always doing something, but he kept me on my toes. Like, I can't, I can't like sit there and say, bro, it's bad. I mean, you know, he didn't have like, you know, I think he had, like, he had Doug Williams at QB, you know what I mean? He was just out there making shit shake. So, uh, I, I respect it. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not, it, it was a good game. Like, I feel like if he would have ran the ball a little bit more, it would have helped him. Because, like I said, this guy was the complete opposite of the last game. This guy comes out throwing the ball 40 times. Like, we got to have some run diversity in there, man. I See, I'm a run first guy, but at the end of the day, I know I can throw the ball. But And another thing about this guy you will just pay attention to in this gameplay, there is, like right there, like I almost picked that, there is so many throws in this game where I was just like that close to picking it. Like, this whole game, like, he was hanging on by the threat of a needle, man. Like, he do, he did throw some dots, don't get me wrong. He does have some plays where he makes big big, big plays in the open field. But, like, a lot of these throws you're going to see, like, I'm just a just a tad behind it where I could have picked it, man. So, you know what I mean? I'm not, this guy definitely was, he, he was living on a, he was living on a, what's the word, I guess, like a, a tightrope, maybe, I guess you could say. I don't know. He was, he was, he was, he was living on edge. I'll tell you what he was doing. Maybe that's the word, actually, living on edge. But he's in this tight right now. He's trying to dive me up. Right there, I, I, I try to man camera curl up on him and get cute. I should have left him on the outside third. I would have bagged it. But uh, this guy also, he this guy goes for a two-point conversions a lot. I mean, not a lot. He goes for it every time. And right there, I have DRC right safety on a zero-yard curl flat. That ball, I feel like, really should not be completed. But he couldn't, he couldn't get down there and make the play. Um, but, you know what I mean? It, 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 it is what it is, man. You know what I mean? We're down. But I know we're going to get it right back up. I believe in my defense. That That's one thing about me. Like, we might give him some points maybe. Uh, but I know we're, we're, we're going to get it back. I'm not tripping. Right here, he pressed the Michael Pittman. Barbecue chicken. You don't press Pittman because off the line, I saw he, he, he had slight pressed up on Pittman. 
And I'm like, I know you don't got Eagles theme team. So I was like, yep, I'm throwing that. So he ends up cooking him in right there. That's my big play. Slay making a great play in the open field. Our Darius Slays are not the same, man. I got the Eagles theme team. And that's just a hell of a throw. Like, he's literally getting hit as he throws that ball. Like, you can't even, like, stuff like that you can't really be too mad about. Like, that's just a great throw by Doug Williams. He's getting smacked as he throws it. Hell of a play. Now, that... It's the complete opposite. That is a terrible throw, and he should have paid for it. Slave should have picked it off. He's got a. That's what I'm saying. Though. Like a lot of these plays, we were just a step, up, just a step behind, man. So that's back to back, just a step behind. We could have went and took the ball, man. And then uh, this is where he really did a lot of his damage against me. And this empty right here, um, you know, because empty's annoying. Because it's one of those things you drop back and you're throwing the ball. Like if you could just, because the way I play my defense, if I just guess right, I'm picking him off where he's getting sacked. That's just how it is uh and you know he made a lot of the right guesses because i gotta get really horny i i gotta get horny in this defense you know what i mean when i'm going against empty because i'm gonna i'm gonna start doing wild shit like i'm gonna start dropping guys in zero yard curl flats five yard curl flats five yard cloud flats again you're gonna see me get a pick because i drop a guy in a five yard cloud flat when you know if he streaks him it's a touchdown but you know, i'm talking like outside corner you know i think actually might be his drive that happens but and like just that look at it man just a tad behind it like we're just He's living on the edge. This is a crazy guy, a Doug Williams. I mean, he's moving the ball though, right? So I guess you got to give him that. He did hit me with a couple hitches this game. Look at Cameron Curl breaking that up. I think that's actually when I think that's how I get a pick is I end up dropping like Cameron Curl in like a five yard, ten yard cloud flat, and I'm just like, yeah, like you're not you're not doing that again. So and right there, mm, get screamed at by Reggie White, the minister. We finally got him on the third and ten. And I'm just thinking, like, I'm just thinking, like, if I get a stop on this guy, like, I know I'm going to win this game. Right here. What is it? Ooh, that, that's a good play by Kent. So that, that's the play I dropped him in the 10-yard curl or cloud flat. That's also a really good play because, like, he could cut, he could try to click on and get away from that. But camera curl broke when that's so good. It, 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 it's just a straight-up ball play. But look at this. Look at him. Human joystick. Left, right, left, right. Come on. That's six, man. That's six. Human joystick has got to be one of the most underrated abilities in the game, man. Like, it's just, it's so, it's so good, bro. It is, it, it really is. It's so good. Like, if you haven't used it, I would recommend using it. Just, I don't even know. I honestly don't even know what the route was right there, to be honest with you. But underrated ability, I don't, I don't know who all gets it for zero. I know, that's why I got it on McFadden, because McFadden gets it for zero. Uh, I don't, I don't know who else gets it for zero. But I highly recommend it. It is a really good ability. And, oh, like, just a tad, bro. Like, it, how many passes he don't? I'm just a tad behind it man oh it's it's so annoying bro it's just it's so goddamn annoying man but it's just how it is sometimes man look at these absolutely get screamed at right there living like larry man living like larry that's that's the hitch hitchhiker is he trying to like truck after he caught it too i don't know if that's that's some method or something the only time i ever throw hitches bro is if guys are running man covers I, I never really ran it too much against zone but oof, the guy like he, he's literally almost getting smacked right there like a lot of the stuff i'm doing i can't even be like damn like we're like a second away from hitting him half of those were a second away from picking it. it's just like we just gotta get you gotta get there with that extra second but right there he throws a little zig right in between the zone uh i try to drop everybody down it didn't work yeah it did not work so he ends up going for his two. That's what he does. He's a guy that likes to go for two. I jumped the zig route. That was so, it was so pre. It was such a pre. A lot of his reads are predetermined, but I was able to jump that one with TJ Edwards, and I was able to take it back for two points. So I was able to steal a couple points right there, which is really major because this game does come down to the wire. And realistically, I should I should have taken advantage of this because like this drive, I really should be going down here and upping the ante on him, but. You know what I mean? I did some dumb stuff. I really, this whole drive, I'm really just coming out running stocks each spot because, like, dog, he just doesn't, he doesn't have an answer for it. Like, what, is, what, what are we doing? Like, you know what I mean? He has no answer for it, so I'm kind of getting lazy. Doing my, this is really the only laziness you get this whole game playing off. So I really wasn't too lazy, but I'm just coming out running my stocks each spot. I'm not respecting them as a man. I'm just like, yo, like, you're out to make something happen. You know what I mean? And as I do that, that's the mistake I end up making right there. I just end up doing some stupid, something lazy. I'm just like, I, I didn't respect it. I didn't, you know what I mean? But, that's really the only mistake I think I really made on offense prior to, prior to his whole gameplay, to be honest. But he comes out some Trey Wide Flex. If anybody ever comes out and Trey Wide Flex, it's the ultimate, like, tell that, like, they're running verticals. I know you know what I mean. He's running verticals. Javon Curse screams off the edge. We shut that down. That ain't happening. 
he comes back out and this uh this is like the little tight he made a couple plays at this once again just a step behind it man it's just you know <sighs> i don't know man you just gotta a lot my defense is, is blitz heavy we gotta just hope we guess right sometimes and you know i mean we got we got him on a fourth three right here what is he and he's in a he came out in this watch the things he, he would come out trips wide trips and a lot of empty uh he hit me with the curl right right there it, it's so annoying because it's just like you don't know when it's gonna come and you got to be careful because if it enemy strikes him you know you know it's it, it, it was annoying but you know what i mean it worked for him so you back in the wide trips i honestly have never really had too many browns with wide trips uh i don't know i don't think it's anything too crazy right there he just he didn't know what to do he didn't know if i was playing the zig he didn't know if i was playing the corner that's what that's what i like to do in my defense i like to kind of bait things you know it takes a little check down flat route uh then that that, that that at that point i kind of gave him that though because he was already pretty much in field goal range so in my head i'm just thinking all right you know what if he gets a field goal man he's already got it just don't give up anything stupid so he ended up getting that uh this the end to have oh look at that shout out my boy a uh, popular stranger he had rated me actually i guess during this game shout out my boy but y'all know pop that's the boy he always be showing me love and stuff that's my boy but yeah, I tried to just hand it off for the end of the half. It, it it absolutely did not work. He gets the ball to start a second half. Now he comes out single back. What am I telling you, bro? He came out and he ran the whole playbook. I mean, we've seen wide trips. We've seen empty. We've seen trips tight end. We've seen try wide flex. Now he's in single back, a wing, whatever you want to call it. Now he's in, what is it? This is some sort of bunch. I think it's like a bunch wide flex. And he actually, oh, he caught me off guard big time. So he comes out in a bunch wide flex. Hits me with an RPO. I just straight up wasn't. I he called me with my pants down. You know what I mean? Like my pants weren't on. I'm trying to, you know, zip him up, and he's just like, no, that's not happening. So he knows huddles it. Tries to do the same thing again. Don't get gritty. You got me with it once. You know, you're not gonna get me with it twice. You gotta, you gotta relax with that. You know what I mean? Be grateful that you got what you got. Now he's just kind of no huddle on the, the uh, the bunch wide flex, making his really ran. I, I, I want to say random audibles and high routes because like. At this point, it's like, bro, you don't run every single formation in the game, man. Like, at this point, you're just trying to come out. So, I'm, I'm just going to be completely honest. That has to be what it is. But I, I think he was an old head, and I'm standing by it. Um, he's still staying in the bunch wide flex. He's just trying to, I guess, you know, give me a different look. But, I mean, bunch wide flex really isn't really isn't that good, man. So, I'm not really too terrified. I got him on his fourth and six. Um, I think he throws some stupid rear to be honest. Yeah, he just throws the same as that route panics. I, Cause I, I kind of act like I'm playing that left side. Come back in, play the right. Boom. Carl Michael shuts it down on fourth down. I think we had a play like that yesterday where TJ Edwards did something like that on angle right on fourth down. Uh, so shout out to him. But hmm, look at McFadden, man. McFadden doesn't have angry runs, but he sure runs angry, man. I'm telling you, tell you, McFadden. I know you guys be worried about the fumbles and all that, but just you know, be careful. As long as you just be careful out there. Look, you got wrecking ball lower the shoulder. I'm not gonna say McFadden's got the greatest juke in the world, but I think he gets he gets he was off sides on that play. But uh, McFadden's got a solid juke, it's good enough to get the job done, you know what I mean? So, uh, shout out to McFadden. I would say this like the best running back I used all year was that Fred Taylor legend card in the beginning of the year. Oh, right there. I saw so some Miles Sanderson because, um, uh, McFadden was a little tired, he could have six that Kyle Pitts got to hold that block on up. That was literally a goddamn touchdown. Right here, he run. I don't know what the guy ran commit on second and two. I mean, I I guess sure thing, but yeah, Fred Taylor I think is the best running back I used all year. The legend card from the beginning of the year, and I honestly got to say this McFadden card has got to be number two for me. I, I think the only thing that's keeping him from number one is whoa, Fred Taylor's juke was so god like in the beginning of the year, and for, uh, you know McFadden you know don't have the best carrying and stuff, but I would have to say he's number two for sure, man. I like I like this card a lot uh it would be nice though if you know the eagles could you know get actual running back i mean you know swift's pretty solid but why would they use swift when you know fans option you know what i mean so man, maybe saquon gets a car for the easter promo at the time it is being recorded saquon does not have a car for the easter promo this car this video might come out after sugar rush gets revealed so i don't know but that's what it is but he's back in his empty Throwing his little pass. Like I said, he, he did the most damage to me. And in, in, in this game, too, like, like I, I I should be up more than, what am I, up 13? I really should have been up more than 13. I didn't take advantage of some of the opportunities I had. So he always kind of kept it a really close game. But, I mean, right, I don't know where he's going with that bar right there. I'm hoping he was throwing that thing out of bounds because 
if he was going where I think he was going with that, that the game was over. But right, th right there. So I, it, it was third and one. I got both of my outside corners on five yard cloud fast playing the sticks type shit. He, he does a good job. There ends up streaking up, take advantage of it because he, he really wasn't taking any deep shots. He was really trying to you know hit the underneath the stuff. So I wasn't really respecting it. I'm not gonna lie. I don't even know what I did right there. Like up to. I think the outside corners on a cloud flat, five yard, other guy was a man down. That's a good route to corner out there, but I, that was bad adjustments there by me. But he's going for his two point conversion. The man puts two zig rats on the field. He put a zig rat on that tight end and the, the slot receiver I was using, him, bro. I mean, I you got it, man. You're, 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 you know, zig rats are already hard to guard. There's no way that was happening. So, I mean, great route combo, I guess, but. This is the start of the fourth. We got to put this game away. And Kyle Pitts just runs the worst route possible. I don't know what that is. You can see every play. I'm blocking the running back. I'm trying to I help him ID the uh, that X-Factor. Not every play, but a lot of the plays. I, If you see me IDing, it's because I'm trying to help him help out on the X-Factor D line because we're probably getting absolutely mauled. And almost every game, you, when, once again, I try to throw the RPO. You see the arm go for it, but... Almost every game you watch, if you've seen X Factor D lineman, they've been mauling my old, they've been all, mauling my old lineman. I have no secures. I have no secures, man. And it's funny because my only old lineman with actual blocking abilities is the guy that gets thrown on the ground more than anybody else on the team. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? But look at McFadden. McFadden, nine carries, 136 yards. The guy I just played against last game had 37 carries for like a buck 40. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, man. We don't got angry runs, but we run angry. Remember that, man. Got Miles Sanders in the game right now because McFadden is tired. And hold on, let me just let me hit my boy Jordan Reed. Jordan Reed on the corner round, man. That's been that's been that's been a dynamic duo almost the whole year. He's been on my team literally almost the whole year because the Eagles have not gotten a tight end since Dallas got his first angry runs card. Jordan Reed, man, I don't. I thank God they gave him a team captain card. I don't know who else I'd have at tight end. I, it definitely wouldn't be an eagle. I'll tell you that. I mean, look, I only have one sheet on my whole team, and I'm I'm, it's, I'm gonna get Dalton Schultz. Technically, I won't have any, but um, when that happens, but right here, I I, I play it safe right here. Don't want to throw nothing stupid. You don't want to throw it out of bounds. Uh, just just run the clock all the way down. Take a delay game. Play cool. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take my three because because you know what? He's going to have to go down there and get a tud, and he's going to have to go for the two-point conversion just to tie the game. One thing about me, I believe in my defense. I don't care if we're giving up points. I don't care what's happening. We're going to we're gonna blitz the blitz, Bama blitz. We're going to get to the quarterback just a tad, just a tad behind that again. Uh, we're going to blitz the quarterback, and we're just going to make a play, bro. That, that That's just – I think he actually scores, but – um. A spoiler alert. I, I'm a spoiler alert, guys. Yeah. There's not water in here. But just know he probably scores. He probably scores. He was sacked, by the way. I don't even know who got that, but shout out to whoever got that. Uh, but it is, this is how we do it. We push him 10 yards back. And then they go 30 yards forward. Because, no, I'm not going to stop blitzing. All right, that, that's not my... How did we get him backwards? We blitzed him. I'm going to... I'm sending five for every play. You're at least getting that five. And right there, it's just... Like, I'm there, but I'm not. It's just like, I don't know. It's just... He's just throwing random shit, bro. All right, it's two-point two conversion. This is for the game. You know I mean? This is to send it to OT. He brings out the double zig right again. Now, we got to break this down a little bit because I still don't even know what happens here. So he drops. This ball is dropped. This ball is dropped. We're going to break this down here. So it's the double zigger. So he, I don't even really, I, I'm guessing he streaks him on the right to kind of clear out that corner. But it's the double zig route. You got this guy here, this guy here. I got to play the inside guy, right? So I act like I'm playing him and I'm like, okay, I'm going to go back inside because TJ's about to get cooked. I have more man. It doesn't matter. He's going to get cooked. So I'm like, I'm gonna act like I'm playing this. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna fall back inside. Now, Darius Slay, I have him on a zero yard curl or curl flat. I have him on a zero yard cloud flat. So, like, he's not, he's kind of in the frame, but he's really not. Um, he, he's, I mean, his job is not really to get over here, but it, it's kind of to get over there, right? So, as he breaks to the outside, Slay is in, it's really in no man's land, but he's hauling ass to get over there. And, 
It looks like... I mean, it looks like he tips this, right? I don't know. It, lo it looks like he gets just a little tad bit of a swipe on it. And it looks like he saves the game, man. Big play slay. Just gets a tad... The whole game. What was it? Just a tad bit. We're just right there. And in the very last play, what does it come down to? Just a tad... That's, isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy how, how this game works, bro? That's wild, but... Shout out to Big Play Slay. That, that's, now, he doesn't go for the onside kick. I'm guessing he didn't come out of it. And then he just brought I guess he just broke the game at that point. Just probably threw the remote, turned the console off. But I would too. I'd be pretty angry. But that's pretty much that, man. Uh, Yeah. Pretty wild games. Uh, Let me know what you guys think about them. If you enjoyed it, drop a like. And if you, like I said, if you guys do enjoy these style of gameplays where I talk over them, drop a like. And, uh, yeah, man, I'll see you guys in the next one. As the time of recording this, no Sugar Rush cards have been uh, revealed. Hopefully, we get some equals. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that, man. But till next time, man, uh, we'll see y'all in the next one. If you ever want to see the live gameplays, tap in with the Twitch link. That's down in the description. Go ahead and drop a follow. Peace out.